now we present HUB's International Seminar, Future Rural Broadband Connectivity, Disaster Recovery, Remote Sensing and Geolocalization, Opportunities and Challenges on Technologies, Application and Regulation 2019. So, uh, as the uh, Chairman of the Indonesia IT Concert Forum or ICF, First, I would like to welcome you all in this uh, very uh, prestigious and very uh, uh, important meeting, I guess, uh, the second annual meeting or second annual international seminar on the High Altitude Platform Station or we call it HAPS uh, 2019. Let's consider this meeting as a melting point that everybody meet each other and developing the business among, among us. Great pleasure for me to be among you this morning. It is therefore crucial that the WRC 19, which will soon be held in Egypt, should have come up with <coughs> definite locations for spectrum for hubs applications. This introduction, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Walt Anderson from Avialdum to present this. Uh. In uh, this, that's our, our mission is telecom. And uh, Mr. Negroha mentioned that Indonesia was a country that really could use HAPS, and there's a number of reasons. So we needed to control the thermal characteristics of the vehicle so that it could stay in exactly the same position. Uh, we can change the payload, so it's payload agnostic. So we can send it up observe, bring it back down, change the payload, send it back up and then use it for communication. Um, it is completely agnostic and completely flexible, unlike a satellite. And uh, this uh, could become a very good uh, reason for embracing, uh, uh, what is that, HAPS. How much is the capacity of the payload? Thank you. Local. Uh, productions or local partnering with uh, local industries. I would like to ask how and uh, in which method. Else in the world, I'm a wholesale provider, so we have we're open to talking to uh, partners here. We certainly see the launching and landing facilities, uh, the place where vehicles go, uh, logically could be in Indonesia to serve the rest of Southeast Asia. Um, just there aren't really any other places that seem appropriate right now in Southeast Asia. With the S Plus, and there will be an iteration which will be potentially three times the size of our current model, which will allow us much heavier payloads. So, with regards to the current uh, weight of a payload, it's between sort of eight and ten kg uh, that we have. Um, and we, we have taken uh, satellite payloads and completely stripped them down because there are certain thermals that we don't need or require, uh, certain things that our payload doesn't need to do, and managed to strip down it to 20 to 30 kilo payload down to less than 8. The airworthiness you just mentioned in your slide. Uh, so, uh, is it any standard of uh, the hubs equipment or something regulation that you uh, approve of the airworthiness? Um, the hubs is purely about a uh, loan project, a Google loan. Uh, the thing that I know is in, in the beginning of this year, it has experienced a lot of crash. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it, is, uh, it was in Me Mexico. So uh, compared to a uh, loan project, how confident are you with uh, the platform that it brings here, uh, that it brings here and how, um, uh, I mean, that, uh, what competitiveness that you can offer compared to a uh, loan project? Uh, can be supplied to the payload. When you say geostation, uh, not geostationary, if you say stationary, is it like a certain box or certain uh, uh, diameters of what you define as a stationary? Because it cannot be 100% stand still, right? And probably moving uh, left, right, you know, back and forward. So what's that radius? And when you say directions, uh, stationary is not only and the location, but also in the direction or the attitude. How stiff <coughs> can you maintain? Because uh, uh, it, because probably the, the the device is moving. 
when it reaches a place where it's going to serve customers, where it's going to remain in a stationary position, we will not want to pay MRSAT. We will use the uh, connectivity we've created with the ground that we're serving our customer with our own connectivity to reply. Whether it's SoftBank, whether it's Airbus, uh, whether it's anybody else, uh, we can all play in it together because the ability, uh, from not from a commercial perspective, uh, but, but from a military perspective, to offer the services that are really required, everybody can bring uh, their own platform. But to build an algorithm that controls specific aircraft is, is what Google brings to the table. Uh, and that's very interesting for us. This is not their primary business, and if they close it now, their business won't be affected at all. They won't change their fundamental They in the future. I think sometime in the future. Yeah, they do. But they can make the regulation. Your moderator for this section. And then, in this session, we would like to share an understanding about how a high altitude platform station that can be useful in Indonesia. And we will have two presenters for this session. Uh, please uh, give uh, a round of applause for um, Dr. Arifin Nungroho, graduated from um, Bandung Institute of Technology Indonesia uh, in Radio Telecommunication Engineering. It's a bachelor degree. And then master degree in signal processing engineering from the University of Rennes 01 of France. And doctorate uh, degree in space communication engineering in signal processing University of Rennes 01. Um, the merely uh, thought or plan is not necessarily to be um, applic applicable by uh, today's um, technology whereby uh, there are still perhaps some limitations in realizing the hubs uh, to be flying a lot 20 kilometers and maintaining it at 150 meters cubes. So it's, it's going to be 10, um, uh, 10 M, 10 times M gigabit per second. <clears throat> so my question is, uh, what kind of uh, hubs uh, services can be delivered to the maritime? Uh, because uh, we can consider that the traffic of the vessel and maritime is uh, tremendously uh, increasing, especially in Indonesia. Large yachts. If you're a billionaire and you own a yacht, you buy your internet from this company. And gentlemen, let's give a big, a big applause to Miss Anna. Mr. Uh, Moderator, uh, we already get a lot of uh, knowledge and insight from previous speakers, so don't get bored because uh, we will discuss more interesting issues uh, about yeah, about hubs definition, frequency identification, ecosystem collaboration, and future implementation. Promotion for these existing feeder ring bands uh, from secondary uh, into primary protection criteria. Since when we take a look uh, on the ITU, uh, seems like like right now non GSO try to using uh, GSO frequency. If we take a look on one of the application on the that uh, pre present. 
presented before is one of them is for using like a HTS or a broadband. This means it's fixed. Uh, you am trying to agree that certain uh, spectrum uh, being allocated <coughs> uh, previously for uh, other services than hubs can be put into uh, the allocation of hubs. What, what actually the, the most uh, recent that you can uh, <coughs> be agreeable to, uh, to such um, allocation? Thank you. From uh, Mr. Uh, Arifin uh, presentation before, we could see that the HTS model for HAPS uh, is uh, beneficial. This is going to be the last session, but it's not going to be you know, the end of the session anyway. So welcome back to the HAPS International Seminar. Today, at the second annual seminar in the future rural broadband connectivity, disaster recovery, remote sensing and geolocalization, opportunities and challenges on technologies, <coughs> applications and regulation. Uh, good afternoon everybody. In this good opportunity, I would like to share you about the HUB's financial model in an um, introduction. And I'm sure that most of you here is, uh, are an engineer. And maybe there is a question. Why should we learn a financial model here? Are we in the wrong conference or seminar? As we know that the main actor in the business are customers and suppliers. And recently, uh, the increased demand for broadband communication gives the challenge to telecommunication operator. Does I complain because the last speaker normally everybody will be gone, health uh, sleeping and so forth. But somebody told me, no, no I will not be uh, disappointed because uh, you're the only speaker who will be accompanied by the two beautiful, uh, outstanding, uh, you know, young uh, women. And then here you go, we have. So I'm, I'm no more complaining and happy with that presentation. And here you go, we have oh, everybody's here. Uh, still listening on the last minutes. Yeah. So I try to uh, bring, uh, you know, it's late, I know, uh, I try to make it a uh, summary. Uh, uh, unlike uh, Ibu Agnes, uh, with um, more foundations on theoretical on the, on the business model, I try to be exact opposite, which is a very practical. Uh, Clayton Christensen is very, very famous. From 512 pixel, 1000 pixels, so uh, my question is, uh, when we talk about uh, hubs, uh, do you think the hubs, hubs will uh, substitute the, the 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 I mean the the current the current connectivity like uh, VSAT or uh, cellular, or it will be the complementer for that? And uh, the the second question is, uh, what kind of uh, supporting technology? Uh, if we if we implement hubs as the connectivity for uh, for the report or drilling, and that is the question for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. That this session is not an easy session actually, because since the beginning we know the hubs is still in the con uh, mostly in the concept and uh, in the process of POC. However, uh, I would like to get uh, further uh, idea or your perception on the on the. Dip dip deployment of the use of hacks. Uh, for example, uh, in the case of BRI, I appreciate that BRI is the only bank in the world who has the unoperate satellite. Uh, how do you see this uh, from the perspective of the security? Because I know that security is a big issue in the banking industry. Uh, looking at the uh, altitude of HAPS uh, is no more than 50 kilometers maximum. Uh, you need uh, maybe multiple of uh, links between HAPS and so on. So if Pamedi could give us uh, some idea about this, uh, I would be appreciate. I would appreciate that. Me, um, I think this is just this me of a question. <laughs> well, um, honestly, when uh, Pa Edi invited me uh, to speak about the financial model, uh, I 
I reviewed, I, I reviewed that, yeah, by the why financial model? Why not business model? A more specific ibu uh, that I tried because um, uh, we are in the same uh, group in hubs, so uh, I'm willing to support uh, whatever the activities uh, of uh, this hub uh, group. So uh, we believe that hub is is intermediary between the cellular, the terrestrial, and the Leo and the and the, and the GU. So they will stay in between there. When we go to the cellular, I think you cannot beat them. So once you go to the biggest city, and then, then that's probably hard to beat. Unless the hub's able to beat that, then that has become uh, experimental because it's difficult the number of spectrum itself, and the area is similar to HTS uh, area, about 250 kilometers. So I think it will stay there. So we'll have to use as a complementary, but the user for them, it's not a technology, it's a service. So, and we learned that one. That's why when we buy satellite, it's not we want to be a satellite operator, but we need to ensure that our strategy has no constraint. Uh, and the same thing, when we need to go to ultra micro, what hurdle us? Hey, that's it, that's $50 is one hurdle us. So then we say, we'll bring it into a lower world and then it's go to uh, maybe two millions uh, at and so forth. So security is our, uh, in our heart of where our core should be protected. So we are very simple security and one way to be serious <coughs> So in the time they leave just server, it's already secure. So we have to treat a network, it has to be unsecure network. So our data can travel anywhere to any network unprotected and yet the data is still secure. Tarang yaning ujiani roh, sang wicowo hambrengang, lir suara ning matu bronto, manungsung sari ning kembang, sampai ketemu. Di Hubs 2020. See you in Hubs 2020 somewhere. I can Thank you. Okay. Uh, hello. My name is Anggaris Nando. I am the strategic business developer from Telkom South Indonesia. I'm talking about the IICF. For me, IICF, IICF is a very good platform for all of us to learn more about the technology, to develop ourselves, to understanding more the, the technology and especially to implement that kind of te technology to gain the economy of our country, Indonesia. And if I can propose like uh, something like an uh, event for the technology, if, I mean especially for the IICF, what uh, what event is uh, the technology itself so uh, because now the era is a uh, disruptive and disruptive technology can be a very good uh, things that uh, that uh, IICF, IICF can explore and related about this event today uh, as, uh, we especially me are really enjoying I'm, I'm really enjoying the, the event, uh, the content, the speakers, and also the audience, and, and another, uh, another side things like the, the food itself is a very interesting, and then the location also in the center of Jakarta, so we don't need to, to go far away from, from, our, uh, from our home or from our office. I think this is the... This is some words that uh, I can uh, deliver to improve the IICF and also especially for the technology in Indonesia. Thank you. Okay, my name is Anna Christina. Uh, I'm Spectrum Policy and Planning Analyst from Ministry of Communication and Informatics. Uh, in my opinion, Indonesia IT Consent Forum is a facilitator forum to bridge the gap between IT agenda item and current Indonesia strength. Uh, I think technical event to kids would be interesting in order to build curiosity since a young age. The event is running well, uh, 
all are straightforward and clear and the accommodation is satisfied enough. Thank you. Hi, my name is Klausa Lutwina. I'm from IEEE Young Professional Indonesia Section Vice Chair. And I want to tell you about IICF. It is a non-government organization that focus on ITU matters. And it is also the counterparts to the government regarding the ITU issues. For the next project of IICF, it would be great if you can expand your target participants into the young professionals in Indonesia because I believe many of the young professionals here would love to learn from the experts to sharpen our knowledge and insights regarding the ITU matters here in Indonesia. To be honest, this is my first time attending HUB's international seminar and I am amazed that it is such a mind-opener event because the session discussed starting from the technology application up to the regulatory and business perspective. I just hope that in the future, uh, IICF could make more similar events that uh, invite broader participants so then uh, we can have a fruitful discussions regarding the ITU matters here in Indonesia. Uh, nama saya Medi Tomo Sutiar Joko um, dari Bank BRI sebagai Kepala Divisi Satelit dan Jaringan Telekomunikasi. Menurut Bapak, IICF itu seperti apa? IICF yang saya kenal dari event hari ini adalah mengadakan event untuk Hubs ya, uh, HIG itu platform internasional, uh, sharing knowledge uh, dari teknologi tersebut yang sekarang growing dan mengumpulkan dari uh, para expert dan potential stakeholder ya dari seluruh um, apa namanya uh, aplikasi yang mungkin bisa dibangun oleh Hubs. Bapak, ikan apa sih yang perlu dicek? Uh, bikin ke depan. Saya kira ICF harus syarat melakukan event-event seperti ini yang lebih besar lagi. Ya, pertama syarat dengan teknologi dan syarat terhadap uh, kepentingan stakeholder lainnya dengan aplikasi-aplikasi yang uh, berkaitan banyak sekali tadi sebenarnya dalam bank itu financial inclusion itu directly impacted dengan teknologi ini. Dari segi uh, infrastruktur telekomunikasi, ini merupakan potensi disruptif teknologi. Ini IICF ini harusnya akan lebih uh, meningkatkan lagi ya sharing ini, karena ini ada hal-hal penting sehingga masyarakat bisa langsung bisa melihat ya bahwa ini memiliki uh, fungsi strategis atau impact strategis terhadap. Um, uh, masyarakat. Ya. Bapak, uh, bagaimana kesan dan kesan Bapak uh, acara hari ini? Saya kira bagus, in, in general. Um, apa namanya, uh, coverage dari materi cukup uh, lengkap ya, mulai dari uh, background, latar belakang regulasi, teknologi, uh, basic aplikasi dari uh, pilot yang mengidentify perbedaan mendasar dengan teknologi satelit serta uh, model finansial dan aplikasi secara uh, pragmatik ya, factualnya jadi cukup menyeluruh yang mungkin bisa diimprove adalah dari segi uh, uh, apa namanya advertisingnya jadi tidak uh, banyak people yang mengetahui, orang-orang yang mengetahui acara ini berlangsung itu mungkin harus di lebih luaskan lagi sehingga partisipasi dari para stakeholder lebih uh, meningkat 